Hello, this is Frontline here, and welcome back to another episode of Seven Days to Die. And uh, in the last episode, we were able to implement these spikes right here, and I learned that yes, you actually can die on these things. So we need to figure out a solution that makes it so that we're able to get past these spikes without dying, yet zombies won't be able to come through. And the only way I can think about that is secret passageways. And I don't know exactly how I make secret passageways, but we're going to attempt to do that in this episode. So right here, um, uh, well, I was thinking was we were just going to kind of go through this area and try to dismantle things. Apparently we caught a little bit of feces while looking through that toilet, which actually I think think it's able to give us a little bit of fertilizer. Oh, that's something we got to do in this episode. We got to make a farm. So, um, apparently zombies got in here at some point and uh, tried to break my stuff. But anyway, I'm not going to focus too much on that. I kind of want to focus on being able to create the passageway out of here. Eh, let's actually not focus on trying to create a passageway out here. Let's start farming. I actually forget how to farm. <laughs> So we're going to have to figure this out together. I think it was something about like uh, using some sort of like uh, tool, like a hoe or whatever that will, yeah, a garden hoe. I actually have the iron for that. Because I don't think there's any way to get a uh, hoe other than having iron now that I actually look at all this stuff. Yeah, it really seems like uh, that's the only way. So yeah, now that we have iron, let's start a farm. This thing will take a while to get build but let's just gather all of our seeds from our chest which is down on the other floor I swore I heard some sort of like zombie sound but maybe I was just imagining things but anyway we're gonna close that and hopefully like uh, try to find all our seeds so we got corn seed right here in the next couple of episodes we'll try to grow that up um, yucca fruit. I'm not sure if that's like planting ability or not. We'll have that. Um, I think that's all we have. I also see that our, uh, oh, what is it? The iron hoe. Now that has already uh, done its thing. So we're now just going to try to break through these spikes. Wow. It's like that's apparently how the uh, durability works on these things. <laughs> they last for quite a while. So, yeah, we're just going to try to break through these things. Uh, I mean, in some ways, I kind of wish that it was easier. I'm afraid to walk through this because if I, like, touch any of the sides, I'll start bleeding out. So, no zombies around or anything. We'll just try to walk through. Yep, okay, we're able to do that. Oh, that just was kind of stressful. We're kind of at the border of a biome, so might want to start over here. Yeah, all of these wood spikes might actually have been able to exit via that. Yeah, that actually would have been a smarter way of approaching the situation. I'm not sure if zombies can get up here just because of like the weird blockiness of that uh, texture. But I guess that's something we'd have to test out. For now... I'm uh, I'm thinking that like it has to be planted on some sort of surface that's not clay. So let's try to start a uh, farm around here-ish. Just like get rid of some of this stuff. I'm actually wanting to type up fertilizer. Oh, I just realized like my my keyboard's plugged in. It really like I have it already uh, set up with my console, but. I uh, actually don't have it with me. I don't want to grab that here. All right, there we go. I got my keyboard. So now I gotta check around for zombies. Um, gotta make sure that we can like try to get fertilizer. I'm not sure what tab it'd be under. Like. Fertile. I'm just going to put fertile. Um, I'm not sure where I was like finding the fertilizer stuff before, because that would probably be something really cool to use. Uh, here's like 
various different things to craft. Gotta make sure that like there's no zombies around. For for now, it almost looks like there's a combo before the storm because I think tonight is our seventh night, which is the whole entire title of the game. Cloth fragment. Apparently, we're able to make splints and bandages out of cloth fabric. Hey. Oh, aloe vera plant. That's what we're going to like plant here. Yeah, that's only clothing. That's decor. Seriously, where was like the fertilizer stuff? I swore it was around here. Maybe we'll just like ignore that for now, but yeah. <laughs> Whatever, I just want to get done. I, I want to like get this stuff all ready so we don't have to worry about it later. This is going to be a very temporary, well, it's not going to be temporary. It's just we're going to make it a very small farm that we can expand later. So boom, got that bit right there. We'll just kind of, we don't have much plants, so this is going to be kind of like slow going for being able to do this. I think corn seed takes three hours from what I've heard, which uh, unfortunately three hours is like six episodes. So it will be quite a while away before we even like start harvesting this stuff. Which is why I kind of wanted to do it early, but I guess we'll do it now. <laughs> well, we'll just have to worry about food later. Eventually we'll have amazing like harvest days and have like festivals of all kinds. But yeah, let's just get our seeds. Goldenrod we can place right there. Then we can go oh, where right, I found beer in the last episode. I forgot about that. Going around flower human. No, we don't want that. I mean, it could, that could just be used as fertilizer itself. Pick up on the clean end can be thrown at your friends or to distract zombies. That's an interesting way to use it. Anyway, I'm getting distracted. Let's get the corn seed. Grow corn there. I'm undetected. All right. I mean, this is yucca fruit, but I'm not sure if we're able to make it into yucca plant. Yeah, I'm just eating it right now. <laughs> Let's... Let's see if we can like go into the food category. If I didn't see if we could actually make them into seeds. So potato seeds, yucca juice, cool you, hydrate you. Oh, and okay, give you amazing stamina. But can we farm yucca fruit, or is it that, or do we like make that from the aloe verde, or? Like, I'm not 100% certain. Anyway, we're going to get a little bit more goldenrod as well crafted because kind of don't want to... Ooh, I'm hearing something. I'm hearing an airdrop. Ooh, that's something we can do this episode. We'll go over there, hopefully be able to pick up a little bit of resources. And, um, is this growing? <laughs> I mean, seriously, it's saying why to pick up aloe verde plant which means I'm not certain as to if it grows. There's a lot of things like about food that I just need to learn. I'll probably look that up like in between episodes, but from what I'm seeing, I just like, um, yeah, I don't know. I really cannot say what I need to do. So yeah, we're just going to try to, you know, we're just going to put down the aloe verde plants or aloe vera. I keep saying them weird. I keep saying like green aloe. But yeah, we'll have this over here. We're going to actually plant down some of these trees because trees might become useful later. Well, they will become useful later. It's just, I kind of want them to be growing and then we'll chop down the biggest ones and uh, collect seeds from those. So anyway, we're going to be heading off in this direction. I'm kind of curious as to where the airdrop is. Um, so I got to remember I can hold down X, go to the uh, map, and then right over there, which isn't too far, it's still quite a trek away, but yeah, it's like just over there. Man, I'm so glad I learned how to use the map. I mean, that Using the map actually will really help me in the future. Hopefully we'll be able to explore this world more. I really want to create a mini bike to be able to get around. Just like 
trekking in the deserts, just running around for the first few episodes. I really didn't like those episodes. They just dragged on and on, kept running out of things to say. And hopefully in this series, we'll be able to create some awesome structures. At the moment, we're actually pretty well off. All we need to do is just create a little bit more traps. Oh, there it is right there. Just create a little bit more traps and uh, try to attack. Oh, pig, pig. I missed, but I feel like we want to chase after like as much food as we can because we don't have much food. I'm going to just run after it and start whacking it because I think I'm actually fast enough to get this thing. Because with those like elk or whatever they are, they're probably called elk. With those, I'm not able to get as well. Like, they are pretty fast. But I actually don't know where the pig went. Well, there's a pig right there. That might be the same pig. I'm just going to keep going after it. So it's like 2 o'clock right now. 2.30, about. Hopefully we'll be able to get this thing with our bone shiv. Because I really want meat. Right now our food's at 3%, and I'll only keep getting lower. There's also zombies in the area. Is it just me or is it getting darker? It shouldn't be getting darker, but it is getting darker. And I don't know where that pig went. It must be like terrible at hunting or something, but I completely lost where the pig was. I'm not sure if it died or if like it just ran off somewhere because um, I'm just going to have to, like, check. I know zombies are following me, by the way. I can see hunted. But for the moment, I only care about getting food. You know, we're just going to, like, hunt the one thing I can hunt that I will always be able to see off in the distance because it just hops and hops like a... It's so weird. Honestly, the elk in this game, just they don't look natural. They just hop around, and I'll just chase it basically until it bleeds out, or like until it stops running, and then I'll be able to like uh, get it. Did I lose it? Oh, it's right there. Oh, okay. So, I'm undetected, technically. Which won't happen long. That was weird. Alright, eventually, like, I'll have something on me that will make me be smelt by zombies. So, I just need to collect this really quickly. Yeah, it's like, there's a zombie right there. I know my health is really low, so I gotta really be careful about that. Try to have my wellness eventually go up. Yep, this guy's still not dead. We'll get him though. Make sure that there's nothing else around me. Got stuck on a rock. That's not good. It's never good to be stuck on a rock. Man, how many arrows does it take to kill a zombie? I mean, really. Be really nice if we could just like get them a little easier but yeah I can see like the flare of that thing maybe we'll be able to get something that can heal us up faster just gonna make sure yeah I'm undetected at the moment I'll keep trying to get meat off of this guy though I think once he like gets to zero durability he'll have nothing on him but like uh, random meat things but you know we're still going to collect that because in some ways it can actually help us yeah we got more like bones and rot well is that really rotten flesh i think rotten flesh if you have like some sort of concrete mixer or whatever it's called it's like you're able to create more fertilizer and i don't know where i heard these things from there's another pig over there but i'm i don't know <laughs> i've kind of given up on getting pigs yeah now we were able to collect a bunch of stuff the last time we got one of those care packages we had like no inventory space and it was so sad because the thing broke just as we were able to collect all the things. So 
Should I go to the bedroll or do I have enough food? Because at the moment I only have five raw meat. I feel like I should go home just because I'm at zero food. And that will eventually make my wellness go down. As well as the fact that I'm being smelled. And if I keep going off in that direction, then maybe by the time it becomes night, I won't actually be able to be safe. So, good multitude of factors that makes me want to go home. Just going to start walking now because I want my stamina to at least be like halfway if we encounter zombies. I never like having no stamina whenever I'm encountering them. It's just that... Uh, I've been in sticky situations like that before. You try to run away, you try to whack them and do all that stuff, but then it takes a lot away from you. It makes it so that you're uh, not able to whack them as hard and you're not able to run away. And then at night they just try to uh, kill you immediately. And it's this whole entire bad experience that I never want to be in. Anyway, we are trying to get in here. I thought I saw an elk, but apparently not. Hopefully we'll be able to go in here without hitting any of the spikes. There we go. We'll have to put more spikes down eventually, but I'm not going to put them down until we really need to. So, uh, what was I going to do? Okay, so we kind of want to look at all of the materials we gathered. So we have an SMG mechanic and a... Uh, uh, chainsaw. So now we're able to unlock a few recipes. The other one was like something I don't know. A rocket launcher too. Yeah, the SMG, the thing. Oh, I have antibiotics. Man, those would have been very helpful before. But yeah, a rocket launcher. Know how to build that now. I don't think we have enough materials for that. But yeah, first aid kits. Got some animal fat. Let's, uh, where's my campfire? Did, did I actually build a campfire? Because we can just have a campfire up here if we really feel like it. Which is strange. I always have found it that, like, it would burn the house down or something like that. But it doesn't. So we'll have it up here. <laughs> yeah, we'll just, uh, try to get meat. Boil me on that. I mean, that requires a cooking pot. But it's like, at the same time, we'll, we will we should make a cooking pot first. How about let's just go down here, try and make a cooking pot. There we go, turned it on. That'll take a, a couple of seconds. There we go, we can turn this thing off to, as to not waste any more fuel. And uh, yeah, this thing will be up and running. Oh, we need water. <laughs> Wasn't even thinking about that. And fuel. Fuel is also kind of important, isn't it? So, really... Okay, it's... A min... Or an hour? An hour 30 until it becomes night. I kind of want to just get these glass jars filled up. It's like as much as it's like about to become nighttime, I feel as though we have enough time to like get these up and running. Cause I mean, water's back here. It really is like, wait, no, no, oh, okay. Okay, all of them are filled up. No, I didn't realize that was a thing. It's like, <laughs> seriously, the animation scares me every time because I think that even happened in the last series. It was like, oh, I don't want to be drinking the murky water. And then it was all like, oh wait a minute, I'm just filling them up. The animation was just weird. Alright, so all of them were able to be filled up really quickly. I actually was not expecting it to be done that quickly. But now we'll be able to make more water. And then we'll be able to make all the meat that we can. I mean, we don't have enough bottled water on us at the moment once it becomes time enough, then we can have it. Just get another bottle of water here, and then BAM! We're able to uh, not have any meat on our hands. Now the uh, scent in the corner goes away. Of course, uh, 
at the moment I don't have any food still, but we're going to have to wait for that. Um, do I have any wood log spikes left? I don't think so. <laughs> I have like normal wood spikes. I just kind of want the log spikes because those are like, that's the better trap. Um, wood log spike. There it is. We'll be able to craft that. Place that down out here. Well, that was a scary sound. I think that was more intense than last time. Um, let's just hope those spikes uh, end up working. Because that's my only line of defense. Because my plan for this episode, as I said earlier, was to dig the tunnel. But all of that stuff that I was just expecting to take the smallest amount of time really ended up taking very short, or took a very long time when I thought wouldn't. Well, first of all, that guy is already there. We're probably just going to have to, like, hold up the fort. Hopefully we don't die, but... I just got get him. Hope that he doesn't, like, get my spikes too badly. Wait a minute. Those spikes were supposed to be like really awesome and long lasting. They are not working as well as I thought they would. Okay. We're just going to have to like make all the wood we can into wood log spikes because that's kind of insane. Maybe even like upgrade the ones we have. I mean, I don't think we can. Just because. Yeah. This is bad. Cause I don't have wood. I should have like started harvesting more stuff. I feel as though I'm gonna have to like run at some point. I, I actually don't, I'm kind of speechless cause I wasn't thinking it would come to this. I'm going to have to like grab some of this meat because, or no, some of this wood, I mean. Because for the moment, these zombies are aggressive. Going to have to like make more of these wood log things, or maybe we'll won't. Maybe we'll just try to, uh, Oh my, well, already my health is down to four. I kind of don't want to die, but at this point I don't know if I have any alternative. It's just like the previous nights, it's been... Oops, nope. Gonna have to upgrade that. Do you have any iron in here that we can take out? So we can make 11. I don't know if that's enough, but maybe. I mean, I don't know. It's like, the thing is this thing takes more iron to upgrade more. It's just, I'm not sure if that's like worth it or if I'd have to uh, work on other stuff. Am I able to hit this guy through the door? Apparently I am. <laughs> that's awesome. Didn't realize that would have been possible. Um, can't really get that guy. Um, oh, well. I'm not sure I should spawn on my bed. I also realized that I haven't been talking much, but that's just because I've been really focused on trying to get these zombies out of here. It's like I was just 
Didn't close the door in time, didn't do any of that. Um, I feel like I'd have to spawn near, but at the same time, it's like near my bed would actually not really work out for me because near would be away. But yeah, my wellness is down to that. I have to just make sure that there's like nothing here. So I think zombies just maybe automatically die when you die. Um, yeah, we have... It's like we still have two hours. We technically died, but we didn't lose much because... Oh, I didn't even see this. They would have been able to like go around through. So, hmm, what happened here? I think they're just able to go up these. I think that the door or the uh, spikes weren't really uh, stopping them. So I'm going to have to figure out some other solution. Well, at least the night's almost over. I guess in the next episode, like, I kind of wanted to find, like, an escape route to be able to, like, get out. But I feel like at this point, we just got to find a route that will allow us to... Or we'll have to find a solution to the problems that we have with our, uh, our base. The moment we are still well off, it's like we died inside our own home, and now it's becoming day, and there's no real zombie horde anymore. It's kind of anticlimactic, in all honesty. We still got 50 minutes, but at the same time, not much is going to happen in those 50 minutes, I think. I mean, now that I'm listening to these sounds, it sounds like there will be more. Oh my. I didn't realize that, okay. Well, that's a spider zombie, I think. I'm just going to have to like run away from that thing or something. I don't know what else I'd be able to do. I don't know where he went, but I'm going to get like my iron reinforced club. It seems like he's like taking a straight path to me, so he's not able to like go down the stairs at all. It's like he's just upstairs and can't reach me. So I'm going to wait until it's 4 o'clock. Yep, there we go. And now he should be a little easier to take down. Yep, spider zombie. <laughs> Alright, took him down. <laughs> well, now it's daytime. I uh, don't think there's anything really left for me to do in this episode. I think that I'm just going to try to prepare for the next one. We'll uh, go up top. Maybe we'll like start a mine or something. And uh, yeah, just gather more wood, gather more resources, make sure that this place actually has more reinforcements than a couple of layers. And this side, I mean, the zombies are somehow getting up, so we gotta figure out some sort of solution to that. But until then, I really don't have anything else for this episode. It was kind of sad, but we'll just, we'll move on. I mean, we died, but at the same time, we only lost two health from it. We actually like healed up because of the uh, time we spent there. So yeah, I'm gonna try and cook meat, do all sorts of other stuff, and uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next episode. So this has been Frontline, see you later, bye.